In this video, we're going to discuss how to calculate cash received from customers when you're preparing the operating section of the statement of cash flows using the direct method. So if you remember, the whole idea behind the direct method is that when we're doing the operating section, we're actually going to be making a cash basis income statement, right? We've got our regular income statement, and then we're going to convert all the things on the income statement to the cash basis. And so when we convert sales revenue to its cash basis, we get cash received from customers. It's sometimes called cash collected from customers, cash receipts from customers, but it's all talking about the same thing. We're just basically taking sales revenue from the income statement. We're converting it to cash received from customers. And we do that by making a couple of adjustments. We're going to have to look at comparative balance sheet and see how the accounts receivable balance has changed over time. So if accounts receivable have gone down, if they've decreased, that means our customers are paying us. So we're going to add that to the sales revenue. But if we had an increase in account receivable, that means we're having credit sales and we're not collecting cash, we're going to decrease that. Okay, so the change in accounts receivable, it depends on did receivable go up or down from the prior period. If it, if it, went, if it went down, we had a decrease in receivables, we're going to add that to sales revenue to get cash received from customers. Okay, now, but there's another account that we might have to deal with, unearned revenue. If the company has some unearned revenue, think about it. If they get cash uh, from customers, but they haven't earned the revenue yet, we're going to have an increase in unearned revenue, and that's cash received from customers as well. So that should also be added to sales revenue. And conversely, if there's a decrease in unearned revenue, then we want to be subtracting that. Okay, and sometimes also you'll see like, advances from a customer like they put down a deposit on a car or something like that you can think about that as similar to unearned revenue okay so now that we've got that down let's go with with a sample problem that I made and we'll see if we can calculate cash received from customers so here we've got the comparative balance sheet for a company okay we've got the income statement for the company and then we're going to put together, we want to figure for the operating section, for the statement of cash flows, we want to calculate cash received from customers. And we have enough information here to do that. So again, all we're doing in this operating section is we're going to be taking the sales revenue, okay, So and we're going to convert that to a cash basis. Okay, that's what's happening. So we're going to take 300000 Actually, let me write it in the formulas up here so you can see. 300000 that's the sales revenue. I just take that right out of the income statement. Then we have to look at accounts receivable. Did it go up or down? Well, in 2021, we had that balance sheet date, the account receivable was 50,000, but then went to 20,000. So it went down by $30,000. So that's a, a decrease in account receivable up here. So that's actually gonna be added. Okay, now let's see, did the company have any unearned revenue? That's a liability. So we look down we say, okay, unearned revenue, unearned revenue, so they went from zero, they didn't have any unearned revenue, to 110,000. So it increased. They had an increase in unearned revenue of 110,000. So what do we have here? We have 300,000 in sales revenue, plus the decrease in account receivable of 30,000, plus the $110,000 increase in unearned revenue. So if you add that together, you get $420,000. So that's the amount of cash that this company collected from customers over the course of this period. Okay, so that's basically what we did was we took the sales revenue that was computed on an accrual basis and we converted it to cash collected from customers on a cash basis of $420,000.